everybody, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm gonna to be doing a Zara haul. I'm so excited about this. I have been waiting to film this haul for God knows how long. Actually, I do know how long. It's been since the beginning of this month because I had my little surgery on my leg and my leg was bandaged up so I couldn't try on any of these things. So filming this haul was pointless. But now, now is the time. I am three teas down. Uh, in the space of about an hour and I am starting to get hungry so I may be delirious by the time I finish this haul. It's gonna be fun. Anyway, let's just get started. So I think I need to disclaim the fact that I... Uh, blah, blah, blah. Okay, so I think I need to disclaim the fact that most of this haul is black. I am having a moment with black items at the moment. Anything monochrome I'm particularly into and these trousers I saw and I absolutely loved them. They have a red and white contrast stripe down both sides and they are tailored and they are so beautiful I love these they've also got a little bit of like an elastic -y waistband which is amazing because eating in these is actually very comfortable the length of them is really good for the fact that um, I'm five foot one so I think on most people these would be a little bit more cropped I do roll them up a tiny bit but I don't have to roll them up a lot and the fit of them um, is just great like around my waist and around my bum looks particularly good they are a little bit big I would say that around the waist I could have gone for a small I got these in a medium but I think these fit particularly well around my leg so I just kind of make do with the fact that they are a little bit um, wider on my waist but they are so gorgeous I'm going to show you what they look like on now. I've worn these before so I know the fit of them. There are a few things in here that I haven't tried on yet and a few things that I have I've kind of been slowly working my way through the haul before filming this video because it's been a long time since I bought these items. I think a lot of them are still in stock though so hopefully we will have some luck linking things in the info box. Everything will be down there but yeah I'm going to show you what these look like on. So these are the trousers with the um, white and red panelling on them. I freaking love these you can't really see the detail on them they've basically got this band that goes around the waist it's the same material as the trousers at the front and then at the back it's actually hi Rory <laughs> you okay at the back it's a little bit more elasticated so um it is quite nice if you are going out and eating in these they are so so comfortable I freaking love these um I've just rolled them up at the bottom as you can probably tell they do run a little bit long let me show you so that is how they kind of look normally but it just doesn't feel quite right for me so as you can see on the other one I rolled it up and I just think that that looks a lot more flattering on my leg than having the trouser go all the way to my ankle it also has pockets I love pockets they're great and yeah that is kind of what it looks like from the back they're just a really nice simple pair of trousers I think they're cut really nicely and yeah I just love wearing them with like crop tops even if it's like a longer top and I kind of make it into a crop top this top is kind of hard to show you but it's got like these cut out bits so one of the shoulders is slightly cut out and then the waist on this side is a little bit cut out it's like a high neck jersey ribbed stretchy fabric so it's quite nice and fitted um i really like wearing this just with a pair of high-waisted jeans or the trousers that i've just showed before they also look quite nice with this um i got this in a small the dog hair on it is annoying me so much but yeah i really like wearing this it's just like that nice in between top for it works if you're like going to something a little bit not fancier but like dinner it works for that but also just works for like throughout the day and the things you can pair it with you can like dress it up or down um really like this i think it was quite affordable as well um but yeah it's just a really nice knitted top and i think it'll see me through from like winter to spring although we're kind of meant to be in spring but it's currently snowing so who the fuck even knows so this is the high neck kind of knit top it's got little cut out bits on the side um and on the shoulder let me show you properly there we go so it's just like a really nice winter to spring top. I like it a lot because when I'm indoors on a day like today where it's not too cold I can just wear this I don't have to wear a big jumper and because it's knitted it keeps me nice and warm but I think going into spring I can just wear it like with jeans and a light jacket and I will be warm enough so yeah I just think it's super super cute. Next we have this shirt which you will have seen if you watched my morning routine video. This is the shirt that I wore in that video. It's just a kind of plain white shirt but the um, trim has this red, uh, white and black piping down it, kind of similar to the trousers and I really like it. It's very Gucci esque um, I really like that but yeah I really like this I want to wear it some more and like wash it and really wear it in so that it's not as 
stiff at the moment it's like that midway between not being a super stiff shirt but it's like it's soft but it's still a little bit crispy and new um so i'm looking forward to wearing this in a little bit i got this in a small and it's super oversized i probably could have gone for an extra small for the fit that i ideally want but the small is fine for me it actually is quite like a nice oversized shirt so i do kind of like that so yeah that is that is that i'm gonna fast forward and show you what this looks like on it's very long this is the shirt on it is mega long i usually like to tuck it in but i thought just for the purpose of today's video i'd show you how it properly fits if you weren't going to tuck it um obviously i am very little five foot one so this does take up like a lot of my leg length and my torso is really really short as well so i think on an average heighted human being this would probably look a lot different um but i like the fact that it goes up at the sides i've rolled the sleeves up just because i think that is way more flattering but yeah i like the v cut of it the buttons literally start here i think it's one of those shirts that probably lends itself a lot more to being um very casual and loose and non-tucked i think this would actually look quite good if i had these boots on just to give a little bit more leg length but yeah i would love to hear your thoughts on this one because i feel like this is one of those ones that people will either really like or they won't like so the next items you may have seen on insta stories and i did do a little poll to see if people kind of like them or not i personally really like this two-piece um it does get fluff all over it so I've had to limp roller this about a million times um, but this is the shirt it's a very like pajama style shirt I really like the contrast stitching I think it's really cute it's very lightweight super super soft it's very very comfortable to wear um, and I've really been enjoying wearing it and it comes with so these are the trousers they're a lot more heavy and a lot more structured and sturdy than the top is and um, the material does feel like it's slightly different it's not as soft but it's got the same contrast stitching the two pair really really nicely together and I really enjoyed wearing these when my leg was in a bandage because number one it's not tight so it was really nice and loose around my bandages and number two it was long enough because these trousers are very very long um, it was long enough to cover the top of my foot and it just covered the bandages completely because it went the bandages went down onto my foot so I just kind of forgot I had them and I felt nice and normal again for a bit when I was wearing this but because they are longer I will probably have them taken up a tiny weeny bit just to make the fit perfect and means that I can kind of wear it more outside of the house but yeah I really like these I went for a medium um just because it has a tie waist and the medium I could have easily gone for a small with these but I prefer to get the medium and then just tie it at the waist so it's nice and loose rather than go for a small and it potentially be just like a little bit too tight so that was my thinking behind this and I'm very very happy with this purchase I really love the mixture of the two so I will show you what they look like now so this is the top part of the two-piece I love this it's so soft it feels so so nice to wear it does get a little bit of dog hair stuck to it it is one of those materials that things will cling to just FYI if you do have pets um but yeah i really really like it it's just such a nice fit and it just tucks really nicely into the trousers and these are the matching trousers as you can see they are a little bit long and that's with my trainers on as well so it gives me like an extra um centimeter or so i have them sitting as high up as i can physically get them um on my body and i do really like wearing them high-waisted because i like the silhouette that the two of them like this tucked into this gives when it's like higher up on my waist but yeah it's a really nice little two-piece i know it's not everybody's cup of tea but i really like it um it's just a nice Thing for me to wear when I'm just like around the house and I'm chilling out kind of feels like pajamas but it's not quite pajamas yeah I think that's why I like it <laughs> I think that's I just got that bang on I love it because it looks like it's pajamas next we have this horse neck top which is going to be incredibly hard for me to show you um as it is right now it's just super hard unless you've got it on for you to see what it's actually like so um I'm gonna fast forward to a clip of this but it's basically a halter neck and it's kind of backless and I just thought this would be a really gorgeous top for evenings out nights out that kind of thing it's actually kind of knitted across the front and then it's got these kind of silky panelled bits down the side and it goes into the little silky bow at the back which I think is really really lovely and it's kind of like loose and flowy and I just think it is super super pretty so i'll show you what that looks like now so this is the black halter neck top i love this it's not something i think i would have worn a couple of years ago but i really really like it i love the fact that you can see um my tattoo with the cut of this it makes me so happy so this is what the back looks like it has buttons um up here which are kind of hard at first to work out but once you've kind of like done it and undone it a couple of times it actually becomes really easy to get into this yourself first time i put this on i did have to have uh, a little bit of help and the bow at the back is quite long it does bug me a tiny bit but i think it makes it look extra dressy i think it's really lovely and flattering but yeah that's what it looks like i've just paired it with uh black skinny jeans and then 
these boots from Zara, which I got in the winter. Very, very happy with this. Next we have this t-shirt. It's just a simple black t-shirt with um, a white and black logo. What do you call that? I, I just can't remember. Brain, brain has not, brain has not, uh, brain is not engaging. My brain's not working apparently, but that kind of logo graphic-y thing in the middle. I got this in a small, and I would say if you want it to be um, quite oversized, then definitely size up, but I wanted this uh, to be a t-shirt that I could wear more with um, some of my tailored trousers, and I do find that with tailored trousers that are a little bit more, they're obviously not super fitted like a skinny jean. I like to have uh, my top be a little bit more fitted as well, just to balance out the silhouette. So this looks really cute with a lot of my checked trousers. I'm really, really happy with it. I'll show you what it, looks like now. Okay, so this is the little Zara t-shirt. I've just kind of left it like this so you can see, kind of see the bit of it. So I got it in a small and it's still a little bit like loose. It just sits quite nicely if you are wearing um, jeans. It works quite well. You don't have to tuck it if you don't want to. I'm really happy I went for a small though because it means that there's less material for when I tuck it into my tailored trousers. It's just gonna work so much better. Yeah, that is kind of what it looks like tucked in a bit so yeah really happy with this t-shirt fits really nicely tiny bit boxy but because I got a small and didn't size up it fits really nicely on the shoulders it's not like too oversized and too boxy and now we're getting into territory of things that I haven't tried on yet but I'm very excited to try on so firstly maybe slightly unseasonal but you know me and white dresses I during the summer I can't get enough of them and I saw this one and I just thought that it was beautiful it's kind of like got a large like almost um what is it broidery on glaze that kind of I, i've probably butchered that um but that kind of material all the way down it it's almost like kind of a, between a skater and a smock style um it's got a really lovely lace trim around the collar it's long sleeved and the sleeves are a little bit flared and they've got this like lace paneling around the sleeves um around the elbows and around the waist and it's got a little scalloped hem as well very very cute i thought this would look amazing in the spring in the uk we always have a bloody heat wave in like april um so i'm kind of banking on that so i'm going to be wearing this and then um like some leather boots with it which i think will just look so cool and it will kind of toughen this up a bit because this is very cute and girly so yeah i'm very excited to try this on i'm really hoping that it looks super cute because i just can't get enough of white dresses my wardrobe in the summer basically consists of lots of different types of white dresses so hopefully this one is going in my collection now this one i'm not so sure on number one i've done the black underwear test and it has failed um most little white dresses to do so we will overlook that but it's pretty freaking see-through i'm pretty sure i can see my tattoo through it as well but the lace detailing is really cute and i do really like it i'm just not 100 percent on this and I can't work out what it is. I think the combination of the length and the fact that it's smock style is kind of what's killing it for me. Um, it's not necessarily the most flattering. I don't know guys, what do we think? Then we have this jumper, which I thought was super cute. It's a really simple knit with contrast um, coloring on the sleeves and around the neckline and it's got a high-waisted high neck. <laughs> it's got a high neck, uh, like a roll neck. I think it's gonna be super cute. I just thought this would look really nice with skinny jeans and boots. Uh, it could be like a really nice casual evening out jumper, or it could look nice with my tailored trousers, with skirts, so many things. Why am I beating the jumper up? Okay, so yeah, very excited to try that on. Let's see what it looks like. And here we have the black jumper. I've actually had to roll the neckline down on this because it comes up really high. It, I literally feel like I'm being swallowed by the high neck on this. So um, because I have no neck as it is, I have just um, rolled it down. It's quite oversized. Um, it's not super, super flattering, but I do really like the fact that it feels like it's got an extra bit of lining on the inside. Like it's super soft and really, really warm. So I think this is going to be a nice one um, to go from winter to spring in. And yeah, it's just super comfortable. Yeah, I don't really mind the fact that it's slouchy, but I think if you did mind that then this is definitely something to um maybe size down on or just pass but yeah it's very cute i will keep it i'm happy with it and i'll probably get quite a lot of wear out of this one um but yeah that is what it looks like next oh my god so i'm looking in the viewfinder because i can't get over how cute it is i absolutely adore this bag i uh, if you guys watched my videos last summer you'll know that i love a wicker kind of basket bag or any kind of bag like that and i thought this was super cute it's more like ropey than baskety but oh, just the combination of this color this texture and then the um what do you call this like the chain on it 
sorry my words are just escaping me today um this chain is just beautiful it's like a light a really light gold um i like the fact that it's a light gold because it kind of bridges the gap between gold and silver so it doesn't really matter what other metals you've got on you i just think that it's so cute it's obviously not gonna fit a ton in it it's not practical but it's so effing cute i can't even so you just undo it at the top like that and then it pops open like so so yeah that is bag number one i'm a fan i can't wait for summer so that i can wear this basically all the time because it is just adorable <laughs> okay so i did go a little bit overboard with the bags i also bought this one i couldn't resist it's like a really nice light gold so it's not too um yellowy orangey in your face it does have this black trim which kind of annoys me a little bit but i just love the bag and it was really affordable and just super cute and i think it looks more expensive than it is and i just love it so um, i'm willing to put up with the slightly annoying black trim um and it also has chain and I like the chain on this a lot. Again, it's like a kind of light gold color. And I just think that it's super cute. You can also remove that chain if you want to and just have it like this, not that I would. But yeah, I really like this and I think uh, it works really nicely as a crossbody. And I love a crossbody bag, it's very, very cute. It's a good size as well. I feel like I'm gonna fit so much in here. You always fit way more in a bucket bag than you think you can. And then finally, we have a pair of shoes which i am so so in love with these are just everything i could have wanted in a boot i've been wanting a pair of like black lace-up boots for a while and these are just perfect they're exactly what i wanted so they've got buckles down the sides they've got pearls on them which makes them very like chanel -y, very gucci lots of brands have got like little pearl detailings on things at the moment um and it's also got these silver studs down the side which are kind of very similar to the studs on the um Givenchy boots I think it's the Givenchy boots and I just love them I think they are amazing and they're quite comfortable as well um, I'm still in the process of kind of breaking them in a little bit but they've got these dips um at the back as well which I just think are so cool you can zip them all the way up um or you could have them like zipped halfway and like kind of open and a little bit slouchy if you wanted to I just absolutely love them they are stunning and I think they could potentially look really really cool with the white lace dress if it is um, short enough I think if the hemline's too long it could just look a bit off but I'm really excited to see if the two do work together because I think that that's just like the perfect shoe to go with it and like toughen it up especially because it's got the pearls I think it'll work really nicely with the white lace dress so those are the shoe love of my life and I think that is it for today's video I really hope you guys have enjoyed this I haven't done a haul like a proper clothes haul in a really long time so it's been really nice sitting back down and showing you the things that I've bought. If you're new here please don't forget to subscribe and give this video a like and yeah that is it from me I hope you're all having the best day and I'll see you guys again very very soon. Goodbye! Bye! Bye 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 b